What's up guys, Raspberry MC has hit final release so it's lost its beta tag and I just thought I'd make a quick video review of it and how well it performs. So just because it's lost its beta tag doesn't mean we're not getting any more updates, we're still getting updates but what it means is that the release we've got now is going to be a lot more stable than what we've previously had. Now before I turn this on I just want to go ahead and tell you what I've or how I've got it connected. So I've got my Pi connected using HDMI to a DTS amp and then that's connected to a TV so I've got DTS pass through and I should have surround sound. The way it's booting is I've got, um, it boots from an SD card like normal but then it actually runs off USB so I do have a USB installation and I should mention also that I've got a 2 terabyte hard drive connected, I've got a USB hub connected with a mouse and a keyboard and another USB stick just for files and I'm connected to the internet using the Ethernet directly to the router. Now I've also got the whole thing connected to a remote control socket so I can go ahead and turn it on and it goes off. So here we go, let's do it. So what I want to tell you about or what I found out about the final version already that I really like is it's mounting my hard drive properly. It didn't do it in the previous versions, it would well, what it would do, it, it would mount the first time I turned it on, but then once I turned it off and then came back to it later and turned it back on, it wouldn't mount my two terabyte hard drive. I would have to disconnect it and plug it back in. It was really annoying. That isn't a problem anymore in the final release. It's fixed. It now mounts every time. I don't have to disconnect it. It works just as you'd want it to. So, yeah. I should also mention, guys, I am using HDMI sec to control it. That The only reason I have the uh, keyboard and mouse is in case this goes wrong and something happens. So here we go. So you can see it does actually work through the HDMI. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you my custom overclock. So if I go into uh, Raspberry MC settings here and system config, scroll down a bit. It all seems a lot more polished and a little bit snappier than before as well. So you can see my CPU overclock to 900, core overclock to 400. A slight overclock on GPU, but nothing much, and a slight overvolt as well, just to make it all a bit more stable. Now, I'm sure I can push it a lot further, but I don't want to. You know, there's no problems with it. The heat's good. If I dive into the system info here, you can actually uh, test out the heat. You can see if you go to yeah video, you can see GPU temperature is down in 35 degrees. That is pretty damn cool for this. It, you know, it's 1080p. It's rendered at 1080p at 60 hertz. You can see it there, full screen, and it's got 50 FPS, which is pretty damn good if you ask me. From such a small little, you know, microchip, basically. And you can see it does actually go up because I'm using the uh, dynamic overclocking. This is kind of at its lowest level. So at the moment, the CPU is actually at 700 megahertz. It only uses the uh, 900 megahertz, my overclock that I've set when it needs to, so it won't be using it now. Um, general UI fluidity is very good. You can see here, no slowdowns. Go into my videos, you can see it's nice and quick. Obviously, it's not as quick as, say, your laptop, but what do you expect? You know, it's a 35 pound thing. You know, it's nothing. It's It's really impressive, I think. I mean, it looks smoother to me than Apple TV, which I have used on my... Uh, Uncle's TV, it looks a lot smoother than that. And I've had no problems with it. So let's test out some of the video capabilities. So you can see I've got some movies here. These are all HD. Some of them are 1080p, such as Horrible Bosses. You can see here, look at how quickly the fan art can move. You can see it's having no problems with the fan art. You can see I could skip through here. The fan art's changing very quickly, very nicely, no problems whatsoever. It just seems like a much more refined thing now it's it's really nice and i've got to give it to all the developers over there at raspberry mc they've done a great job so you can also see that little play button that's because i've already played it it does remember stuff so if you click it you can say resume from nine minutes 33 click that you can see the working in the bottom right hand corner and off it goes it's playing off my two terabyte hard drive and you can see it's playing perfectly the lip sync's great no problems I've also set it to match the frame rate of the video to the TV so you can see it's at 24 Hertz 1080p at 24 Hertz which gives me a smoother better picture so it's much better like that than say playing it at 50 Hertz the most um, demanding file I probably have even though the movie kind of sucks is uh, Wrath of the Titans I'll play this the bitrate is high and it is at 1080p. 
This one does take a little bit longer to, to start, but it does start eventually. There we go. See, it looks very smooth, really nice. You know, it's fantastic, it really is. For some little kind of computer chip that's worth 35 pounds, this is amazing. See, I've got my subtitles on there, I haven't uh, turned them off, which you can do. Let's test out the skip, so I'm just gonna press up and skip 10 minutes in. And you can see it is kind of a hazy thing, but it will disappear. It skipped 10 minutes in very quickly. And there we go, should eventually come back to normal. Go away, there we go, it's fine. So fantastic HD playback. I mean, that is a movie that's 1080p and probably 24 to, to 30 megabits per second. I'm not quite sure on that, but yeah. I've also got NaviX installed, so we're gonna check out some HD streaming as well. If you know what NaviX is, basically you can stream movies and some other stuff like TV shows and all that kind of crap. I am running a skin here, so that's why it may look a little bit different to your NaviX version. But again, it's all nice and quick, and it's only as quick as the uh, servers are going to be, guys. So if the servers are having a slow day, so will you, <laughs> basically. Um, it's, uh... Okay, the Amazing Spider-Man here is 1080p at 5.1, so let's try this. This is going to be quite a... Uh, you think very intense, because it's 1080p, 5.1, and using the Ethernet. You can see working in the bottom right-hand corner there. Again, it's only as fast as the uh, servers are. So if the servers are slow, it's gonna be slow. There we go. Hopefully you can hear that, there is sound. See at the top right there, it says 5.1. It is coming through at 5.1, I can tell you. Don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it is there. And the quality is amazing. It looks great, and this is streaming from the internet now. If I uh, skip in, no lip sync problems. See, it looks fantastic. I'm very, very impressed. We'll uh, we'll try one more here. We'll go into a different different section. And okay, we'll play the impossible at 720p. Again, we have to wait for the uh, servers to give us the information before we can play it. And there we go, it's working in the bottom right hand corner and we are off. Again, the playback is fantastic. I'll skip 10 minutes in and see if we can get to uh, some speaking. So I've noticed no lags, no lip sync problems, no nothing. It all works really well. You can bring up the uh, menu here. You can see it's 720p AC. This one is only in 2.0. You do get all your uh, settings that you can do here. That wasn't really the one I wanted to do. So you can see you can change the audio offset, the volume boosts. All that sort of stuff, and you can see the picture now there looks uh, fantastic, looks great. Very sharp, and that's streaming, you know. So, yeah, the final version is very good. You'll be able to use it all the time, and, you know, we'll get more updates, more improvements will come. Loads of stuff is going to happen here. This is such a great little development board. I'm so glad I bought it. Um, you can just see how quickly and how fluid everything is all the time. There's no problems with it. And it's even better for me now that everything mounts the way it should do. It's, it's uh, fantastic. So, yeah, that's the, uh, f I don't know what else to show you, really. That's the uh, final release of Rasp BMC, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later.